Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete with your word for the day. So I have a question. Do you love those emails that say your Amazon order has shipped? I know I do. I love to get those emails. My kids constantly ask me, has our order shipped yet? When am I gonna get my order? And it's really great news when you hear those words, your order has been fulfilled. Today's passage, Jesus talks to us about how he fulfilled the law and the prophets. So let's take a look. I'm in Matthew chapter five. I'm gonna read verse 17 and 18 to start with. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law and the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth passes away, not an iota, not a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished. So right here we see that Jesus has accomplished the law. He is the fulfillment of what the law and the prophets talk about in the Bible. Now, he also emphasizes the importance of Scripture. This book is very, very important. It's so important that not even the smallest mark in the Hebrew or the Greek is going to pass away. This is an important book. We need to know it. We need to study it. We need to learn it. So thank you for tuning in today because it shows you value this book. Next, it says in verse 19, Therefore, whoever relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So Jesus fulfilled this law, but he expects us to obey it. Okay, He fulfilled it, but we still have this expectation that we need to be obeying what it says discipleship following jesus is obeying jesus discipleship is obeying the word of god so if you're a disciple you're a follower of jesus then you're going to want to obey what this book says and finally jesus says this in verse 20 for i tell you unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and the pharisees you will never enter the kingdom of heaven whoa that is a pretty strong statement because the scribes and the Pharisees, they structured their entire life trying to figure out how to obey this word. They were trying over and over and over again to fulfill the law and the prophets, but they couldn't do it. So Jesus says, your righteousness has to exceed that. We need Jesus's righteousness. Jesus fulfilled this law, and when we trust him, he gives us his righteousness so that our righteousness, which is really his righteousness, exceeds that of the scribes and the Pharisees who lived their whole lives trying to fulfill this law. So that's the good news. Heaven awaits us because we have that righteousness from Jesus that he accomplished by fulfilling the law and the prophets. Have a blessed day, Calvary. Bye-bye.